The AFLA M1 FL Plus test kit includes a pump stand with a glass and plastic syringe barrel. Use a mild laboratory detergent to clean the glass and plastic syringes. Rinse thoroughly with purified water to assure no fluorescent material leaches into your tests. Remove and dispose of the plunger from the plastic syringe. Place the plastic syringe in the right pump stand hole and lightly tighten with a thumb screw. Place the glass syringe in the left pump stand hole. This is glass. Carefully tighten the thumb screw. Add the red column coupler to the bottom of the syringes, and if you haven't already, remove the bottom of the plastic syringe cap. The cuvette holder is removable for the last step of the test. Later in the test, you'll use the safety bar that tightens above the plastic syringe stopper and is tightened with three thumb screws. Finally, attach the pump to the hose. The pump pressure is adjustable both on the pump and using the valves atop the pump stand. Between tests, syringe barrels should be cleaned with 100% methanol and rinsed with purified water. Clean beakers and graduated cylinders with mild detergent and purified water rinse. Cuvettes are not reusable and should be disposed between tests. To calibrate, use only the AFLA M1 FL Plus standards. Turn on the machine and press Options. Press Enter to choose Calibrate Test. Press Select Test until you see AFLA M1 FL Plus. The machine will prompt to insert the red vial. The standards are light sensitive, so keep the box closed between use. Use the keypad to set the calibration number to the value noted in the current procedures manual. Press Enter. When prompted, remove the red vial. Insert the green vial. Use the keypad to set the calibration number to the value noted in the current procedures manual and press Enter. When prompted, remove the green vial. The machine will print a time date stamped record of calibration. Now we will test the calibration. Press Select Test. Choose AFLA M1 FL Plus. Press Enter. Insert the yellow vial. The results should be within the range indicated in the current procedures manual. If the result is out of the range, first check the expiration date of your standards. If you need further assistance, contact Vicam Tech Services. To avoid unintended fluorescence, methanol and water mix should be kept only in glass bottles. All our reagents depend on our water. We will test the water first for fluorescence. Fill a cuvette with 2 milliliters of water. Wipe with a Kim wipe and insert into the machine. We must have a zero result. If not, find a new source of purified water. Test uses three different reagents, 1090 methanol and water, 8020 methanol and water, and Aflatest developer. To make 10% methanol, Mix one part HPLC grade methanol to nine parts purified water. Each test will use 32 milliliters of the solution. A batch can be kept for one week. For 80-20, mix eight parts methanol to two parts water. Each test will use approximately one milliliter solution and is used to clean the syringe barrels between tests. Aflatest developer is good for eight hours. Follow the instructions on the side of the bottle to mix. We will test our reagents for fluorescence. In a clean new cuvette, pipette 1 milliliter of 1080 methanol and pump 1 milliliter of Aflatest developer. Place in the fluorometer. You must receive a zero result. In a clean new cuvette, pipette 2 milliliters of 1090 methanol. 
place in the fluorometer. You must receive a zero result. If the result is greater than zero, replace the source of methanol and check your expiration date of the Athletest developer. Prepare your sample by centrifuging approximately 50 milliliters of milk at 2,000 times gravity for 10 minutes. Carefully remove the skim portion, the bottom layer of the milk, for analysis without disturbing the top fat layer, tinted red here for emphasis. You'll need 40 milliliters of skim milk for each affinity column. The resin in the column is mobile in the bottom and should be stored horizontally. If it's not horizontal, tap gently with your finger to re-level the resin. Attach the column to the plastic syringe. Add 40 milliliters of skim milk to the plastic syringe. Then pass one to two drops per second through the column by applying pressure with the pump. Continue until air passes through the column. Then, remove the safety bar and the stopper to remove the pressure. Remove the column from the plastic syringe barrel. Remove the top frit from the column by using the frit picker. Fill the column headspace with 1090 methanol water solution. Attach the column to the glass syringe barrel. Use the markings on the side of the syringe barrel to measure 10 milliliters of 1090 methanol water solution. Add pressure and drop 2 to 3 drops per second through the barrel. Pass the solution through the column at a rate about 2 to 3 drops per second until the level of solution is approximately 1 inch above the top of the resin bed. Remove the column from the syringe barrel and cap it with a cap that comes with the column. Invert the column 10 times until resin beads are completely washed from the column bottom frit. Remove the top cap from the column. Fill the column headspace with 1090 methanol and water and place the column back onto the glass syringe barrel. Use the markings on the syringe barrel to measure 10 milliliters of 1090 methanol solution. Pass two to three drops per second until air passes through the column. Once air passes through the column, repeat the last step. Remove the pressure, add 10 milliliters of 1090 methanol and water solution. Then apply pressure and pass two to three drops per second until air passes through the column. Remove the pressure and replace the waste collection cup with a new clean cuvette. Elute the column by passing one milliliter of 8020 methanol at one drop per second through the column. This mixture of methanol is much less dense than the standard water solution. Be very careful as you pass the air through the column. It will flow very quickly. Add one milliliter of Athletest developer directly to the cuvette. Swirl to mix, then clean with a Kim wipe and place directly into the Vicam fluorometer.
The fluorometer produces an answer in 60 seconds, and the printer will produce a time date stamped record of your results.